Welcome to this painting tutorial. How's it going everyone? Welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to paint a Tau Ethereal from the Coalition Command set. This is a very simple color scheme and I really like the way it looks. You can easily change the color scheme to whatever set that you want, just changing some colors around. Essentially just using this uh, tutorial to paint any ethereal that you want. I really like this model, I really find it enjoyable to paint and I hope you like this video. If you do, don't forget to like the video, comment on it and subscribe to the channel to see more videos. That really helps me out. I'm going to start by priming the model in grey and for this I'm going to use Vallejo Surface Primer Grey through an airbrush. This is very close to the base color that I'm going to use on the armor. So this really helps uh, make it easier for me to paint uh, the basic color on the armor. And I'm going to start by painting the deepest parts of the model, which for this one is uh, the robe, and I'm going to use Rhinox Hide. And basically not be trying to be super careful, only trying to avoid the places that are going to be white, because those are going to be hard to cover uh, if I paint with other colors that are not uh, white. Next, with XV88, I'm going to paint the outside of the robe with this color, and this is going to help us uh, to set up the next color that is going to be the main color, and also for the shadows. Try using uh, thin paint when you're painting any base coats or layers. Uh, don't ever use uh, paint straight from the pot, because that uh, obscures detail and makes it harder to give a smooth coat. And uh, just uh, move it around if it needs a second coat because the first one didn't cover it too well Just let it dry and give it another one Next I'm going to use the fang to base coat the skin of the model. This includes uh, some parts of the knees and the feet and Of course the the arms and head of the model For the primary I would recommend using a white primer if you don't have the gray surface primer It's very light and it's very close to the first uh, coat of paint that I'm going to use on the armor. That's why I used it. And uh, it also goes very thin and it keeps the detail looking well. So I used that. Next, I'm going to use Tau Light Ochre. And with this color, I'm going to paint most of the robe from the outside. And I'm going to avoid the deepest recesses just to leave a little bit of a shadow on the folds. Or you could also paint everything and then come back with XV88 and just paint shadows in between. Uh, whatever you find easier. I just uh, started uh, just painting the most raised parts and leaving a little bit of the most uh, deep places on the robe in the previous color. The towel like ochre doesn't cover very well, so it's going to need multiple coats. That's just the nature of uh, yellow colors or very light colors that you need the more than what coat. The first one is going to look patchy, the next uh, is going to fix it, and probably by the third it's going to look uh, even. Here I'm using model color black to base coat all of the places that I want to be black, which includes the pieces of armor on the feet, uh, the hooves, the handle on, of the staff, and any other detail that you would like to be uh, black, just paint it with this color. Next I'm going to use Ulthon Grey, and with this color I'm going to paint all of the places on the armor that are going to be white. Uh, this is very simple, if you did a clean job on your other colors, this shouldn't be very hard. If you paint it by accident other colors on top of the white, you can either give it multiple coats or first try to cover the other colors with Celestra Gray and then give it a, a coat of Ultra and Gray. This is going to be make it a lot easier if you, for example, painted black over white and you didn't mean to. Next, I'm going to use Corn Red and with this color I'm going to paint the little uh, tail of hair where it has a little like wrapping around. I'm going to paint it red and I'm also going to use this color to paint the banner that he's standing on the base. In some places like the feet inside the robe it's kind of hard sometimes to reach and uh, paint them those areas very well. I don't really mind them too much because they're not going to be very visible as long as you give them a base coat and a wash and a little bit of a highlight. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, it's going to look good and I don't mind it. You can uh, not assemble those parts and paint them separately. I really like to have my miniatures assembled so that I can play with them, even when not painted. Here I'm using Drakenhof Nightshade to shade all of the skin of the model real quick. This is a very simple step. Just not, don't let it pull too much, just make sure that it gets into all of the recesses. 
Next with Agrax Earthshade, I'm going to shade the rest of the model, but only with a fine detail brush. And here I'm going to try to get only the recesses on the white, very deepest recesses. Do as thin as a line as you can, and if you go too big, yeah, you can go back with the uh, Woolstone Gray and push the color back and just clean up the places that you didn't want to paint with uh, this uh, brown. Uh, other places that I'm shading as well is the red and the ochre robe, uh, just on the deepest recesses with the fine detail brush. Uh, because I don't want to go back and clean up again those places. Once that's done, I'm going to go back to the skin and I'm going to use rust gray. And with this color, I'm going to highlight all of the places on the skin, just leaving the deepest recesses on the previous color. Thin down your paint as well, as always, and so that you have a smoother uh, covering. Uh, but this color is not going to cover super well because the, the previous color is a little bit dark. That's okay, give it a couple coats, it's gonna look a little bit patchy, uh, but the more coats you use, the better it's gonna look. Uh, just make sure that they're thin and that you let them dry before you apply more paint. Next, I'm going to use Fenrician Gray, and with this color I'm going to highlight the skin. I'm just going to do an edge highlight and try to do as uh, thin of a line as I can. Just trying to pick the most raised areas of the skin and give them a highlight on the sharpest edges. I like to use drying retarder uh, with my uh, edge highlight sometimes when the paint is uh, drying on the tip of my brush. Just add a little bit of a liquid drying retarder to your paint and it's going to last a little bit longer wet so that it's easier to edge highlight it like this. Also make sure it makes sure that your paint is always thinned down at least a little bit. Next I'm going to use Gorthor Brown. With this color I'm just going to pick the sharpest uh, raised parts on the inside of a robe. It's not very important to go very detailed in this part. I'm just going to give them this highlight and that's going to be it. Next with Ashen Gray I'm going to start highlighting the black. Uh, none of the staff can have to be highlighted because there's no edges and there's no real like uh, definition um, where the light is hitting because it's all round. And uh, I'm just going to pick the sharpest places on the blacks, such as in the hooves and the little pieces of armor that are going to be black and the bottom of the drone. Next, with Dawnstone, I'm going to give him a second edge highlight to these uh, black places, but just uh, focusing on the sharpest edges, just to give them uh, an extra extreme highlight that is going to define very well those uh, pointy edges on the black and make them easier to see. Once that's done, I'm going to go back and use Unger Flesh and this is going to be the final highlight on the robe. It's only an edge highlight, so just try to pick the sharpest parts and the most raised uh, folds on the robe just to give them uh, another highlight that is going to make them pop a lot more. With all bright colors, it's, I recommend to give them at least two coats because they are not, uh, they not, don't cover it that well. And uh, they all benefit from uh, giving them an extra highlight just to uh, bring out the full op opacity of the color that you want to paint. Next, with um, Vallejo Model Color White, I'm going to use this color to edge highlight all of the edges of the white armor. And this is going to bring up the brightness and make it look very white. Uh, always when you're painting white, you don't want to paint the white on the entire thing. You want to paint a very off-white, very close to white uh, on the armor and the last highlight to be pure white so that it translates and it has a little bit of variation of colors and the armor is not just white. I'm also going to use this color to paint the eyes, so very carefully try to make a very pointy uh, tip on your brush, uh, spin it and drag it on your thumbnail or your uh, palette and try to pick the eye real quick. Here I'm going to use Balthazar Gold and with this color I'm going to base coat all of the places that are going to be gold. These are just the towel symbols that are in the chest, in the belt and in the staff. And it's a very simple step. Just uh, make sure to thin down the paint and not use it straight from the pot. Because that's going to cover a lot of detail, especially the metallic paints. 
Some of them are very uh, thin, but some others are very thick and they get very tacky if you don't uh, water them down and they're drying on your palette. So make sure to thin them down. Here I'm using Agrax Earthshade again and I'm uh, shading all of these uh, gold uh, places that I painted Balthazar Gold real quick. Just make sure that it gets into the grooves. Next with Gehenna's Gold, I'm going to highlight uh, all of the places on the gold, uh, just leaving the Agrax Earthshade on the recesses. And basically just trying to pick up uh, the whole area again and make it look this uh, reddish gold. When using Gehenna's Gold, uh, make sure to shake it very well and most, most of the colors uh, tend to separate and uh, you t end up applying uh, different uh, colors or just the medium of the paint because it's not well shaken and when well mixed. So it's, that's true with all of the colors. You should shake uh, whatever color you're using uh, before you use it. Uh, so that it's well mixed and apply it. Here I'm using Stormhost Silver just to give him a little uh, edge highlight to the gold parts and make them look a little bit brighter. Uh, as thin as a line as I can on the edges of the gold. Here I'm going to use Evil Sun Scarlet and with this color I'm going to edge highlight all of the red parts uh, around the model which is only uh, the little uh, tail of, of the kind of ponytail on the head, I don't know what it is. And I'm going to highlight the edges of the banner on the bottom of the base. Once that's done, I'm going to use Tau Light Ochre again. And this is going to be to, to do some freehanding and to paint a little like jewel that's on the middle of the forehead of this model. I don't really know what it is, but it it seems to be this color on the pictures that I saw. So I painted it with this color. And here I'm just doing freehanding, just dragging on a straight line all around the staff to make these lines. Make sure to have the, your paint thinned down a little bit more than usual so that it flows easily. And just try to get the, uh, the pattern right. If you made, make any mistakes, just pull up, pull up the uh, Ultra and Gray again and correct it. Here I'm doing the same with black, the same principle. Just try to uh, draw the, the insignias or the uh, figures as best as you can. And then uh, you can come back and clean up with Ultra and Gray if you mess up. And this is the finished model. I really like the way it turned out. I really didn't care much for Tao um, before, uh, but this uh, model really changed my perspective. I think they are pretty cool. I don't know what the ethereals do on the game, but this model looks pretty cool and I like it a lot. Uh, almost makes me think that I would like to make a kill team around him, although you can't use uh, characters in the kill team, but you know what I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. And I enjoyed painting it very much. Because this model has a lot of uh, bright colors, you have to be patient and build them up little by little because colors won't uh, cover very well in the first try. So just uh, give them one coat, let, th let them dry and come back again and give it a second coat until you reach the complete opacity and that it looks good to you. Uh, so just be careful with that. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you on the next one. You stayed! Great! Thank you very much for supporting my channel and if you would like to become a patron, there is a link to my Patreon page in the description below. Your contributions help pay for my work and keeps the channel going. A single dollar a month is more than enough and you can cancel it at any time. If you can't, don't worry, you can support my channel by simply watching my videos and sharing them with your friends. Thank you for watching, have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.